What? What? The what? <laughs> Wait, what? Does it exist? This is weird. Like, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but it's an option. 안녕하세요. 저는 스페인에서 온 볼라입니다. 반갑습니다. Yes, I miss it so much. I never thought I would miss my job so much because every time I'm working, I'm like, I hate this job. Like, I want to quit. It's so stressful. I have to work a lot. It's like, I don't hate it, but it's so much pressure and so many hours. In summer, I work 14 hours in a row and I sleep four every day and no holidays in a hot weather. I really thought about quitting so many times, but now that I am not able to to work like it's not that I don't want to work is that I, I cannot I really miss it and I'm angry but I mean there's nothing that I can do about it so I'll be patient <laughs> there's so many things that I miss about it number one it's my co-workers we had a really good team back home in Spain everybody was so good working and the supervisors was like they were amazing we liked each other a lot the way of working was always smooth and even though the flight was really stressful when you work with people that is really professional and know what they're doing it's way easier to go work and I actually enjoyed going to work by that time my co-workers are amazing and I love them I'm actually friends with all of them so it was a really good environment it affected so bad everything related with traveling is so badly affected mostly because airlines lost a lot of money they don't have as much money as before so going back to normal is gonna be hard we cannot fly and the airlines cannot provide you flights so many people cannot work many airlines had to shut down because they couldn't support themselves it really affects everybody also people like passengers there's a lot of people that fly a lot like travel a lot or they leave from traveling so you couldn't do it anymore it, it actually affects because traveling is one of the hobbies that everybody has and like it's always a way of releasing stress and they, we suddenly couldn't do it so i hate it <laughs> that's my word i hate it i hate covid traveling around korea huh? walking I guess car, right? It's Korea. I think it's by car. Like a road trip? Camping. No. Nope. Isn't it that? What? No. What? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Does it exist? This is weird. Like you basically take you take off, but you don't land. So you go around Korea in a plane and then you go back home. So I take off in Seoul and I come back Seoul. I did heard about this term back in the in the airport, but it was only for like non-commercial flights. <laughs> okay, it reminds me of when we went to the Jeju Air restaurant. Yeah, it was like an alternative so they could work, right? Okay, I like that. Most of the people got fired or they're on holidays and it's not fair for anybody that we cannot work, right? So yeah, it is a good strategy to make people go back to work even though it's a non-landing flight. I mean, if they made it, it's because people want to do it. There might be someone that really enjoys being in the airplane and eating airplane food and like just feeling like traveling. So I think it's a win-win. I wouldn't do it, <laughs> but it's an option. I would just feel like so weird that you take on the plane and you end up in the same city that you came from. I still think it's so weird, but and the pilots might have be having so much fun doing the same route all over again. It's like a tour bus. It's like a tour bus but in an airplane. Okay, it's okay. It's good. It's interesting. It's pretty unique. I think this is the kind of thing that only Korea could do. <laughs> Another positive thing about uh, the non-landing flights is that you can shop on the duty-free section, which is only available if you take a plane. So a lot of airport companies are getting bankrupted to COVID. That's what I said before. They have no money. We cannot go back to work because they cannot afford hiring us. We're slowly recovering. That is true. That at least in Spain, 70% of the population is now vaccinated. So that's what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not. But yeah, a lot of people is vaccinated. So you can travel more than before. So yeah, it's a little bit better than before. We never know when we can travel again. So I think this is a great idea. I saw a lot of people traveling though. Since COVID is getting slowly better, people who is vaccinated or go to people that is mostly vaccinated countries, I think they're slowly going to on a trips. Slowly getting better. I guess we could go back to travel soon. Maybe next year, I hope. 
Yeah, but don't you think like it's gonna be weird that you land in the same city <laughs> and then you go to a hotel in the same city that you came from? No, 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 but I agree. It's a pretty unique idea. Spanish people wouldn't do this. How we're thinking is that we save money to go on trips. So they would probably have the same thinking as I do. Why would I pay for something that is gonna leave me in the same city that I came from? They want to experience like the full thing. Some people would do it. If this was in Spain, I, I'm sure people would do it. But no. I don't think they would make this in Spain. I don't think it's an idea that they would have. If, uh, you know what? My feeling is that if I did this, I would feel more nostalgic about traveling. I feel like rather than feeling better, it would make me feel worse because I would love to go somewhere else. Because there are so many places that I want to travel to. Every time I go to the airport, it gives me my nostalgic feelings about the work. Of course, I enjoy traveling, but if I didn't have like the full experience, I don't know if I would enjoy that much. I'm not sure I would do it. If I get the chance, to maybe i could try just just for trying just for the experience and being able to ride a plane but i would prefer to go somewhere i love traveling i wanted to go traveling you know what i'm from europe but i didn't travel europe that much and now that i'm far from europe i want to travel so much now that i cannot travel i would love to go like i have like a bucket list of places that i want to go as soon as i can travel again of course always i love traveling with a plane not long flights like going back home to spain it takes 15 hours i hate that because i cannot sleep well but if it's a short flight i love it i love the takeoff and i love landing it's so funny <laughs> everyone that i know loves traveling never in my life i never met a person that says I hate traveling or I don't like traveling. Actually, when you work with airlines, it's easier to get flight tickets. Like you can get free flight tickets or discount. Everyone in that environment travels a lot. And actually my friends who are not related to that love traveling a lot. My family loves traveling a lot. So many people had to cancel. Myself, I had a trip and I had to cancel everything because I couldn't go. So yeah, it affected everybody. We all had to cancel it because borders are closed. So fighting, everyone fighting. Better days are coming, definitely. Be patient. We just have to be patient right now. Like it's not the best timing for us, but after the storm, sun always comes up. So we have to look for those days. Today I've talked about non-landing flights in Korea, but it would be nice if they bring this kind of stuff in Europe someday. 영상이 좋았다면 좋아요, 구독 눌러주세요. Bye bye.